After completing this black holes book, I have come to the realization, although Brian and Jeff are experts in their fields of study on physics and black holes, space, pretty much anything you put in front of them, I now consider them poetic gentlemen, because this book is extremely well written, and I have been able to apply their scientific knowledge to a philosophical approach to our existence. And so I've taken different things out of their book, as Bill Nye has eloquently put, finding beetles in the muddy zone full of dead tree trunks. So I found plenty of beetles in your book, guys, and I really appreciate you putting it into as simple text as possible because it is just an extremely complicated subject. And the diagrams, mathematics that you incorporated into the book are way beyond my comprehension. That is just extremely difficult for me and way out of my league. So the concepts come relatively easy to me, which is why I've been able to communicate to you all my questions and inquiries and kind of what I have been thinking about while reading your book. And this book is excellent for anybody trying to learn more about the subject but is skeptical as to if they have the capacity to understand and comprehend black holes and the context that that is so complex. So I recommend this book. I've got a few others on the agenda. I have a couple uh, books on Michael Faraday. One got uncovered here. So two books on Michael Faraday, one of which he wrote, The Forces of Matter. I'm excited to read more about The Father of Electronics. I have a small book on cosmology, which is the study of how the universe began. And so how we all got here. This is just a small pocket-sized book that I started a couple months back and got distracted. Looking forward to get back, in, back into that. <clears throat> a small book on... Railroads, its origin and problems. Excited to read about that and see if I can apply what maybe Mr. Faraday was researching and lecturing about and had written in his books. Maybe apply it to something in the railroad industry. Maybe we have yet to discover new technologies that could reinvent some industry that is just not comprehensible at this moment. So. I'm going to see what I can do there. I have a book by Stephen Hawking, A Brief History of Time. I started reading this a month ago or a couple months back and just got distracted again with other subjects, other things that I wanted to learn about because I'm pretty sure I have a really well, deep understanding of time, even though the mathematics, again, are you know extremely difficult for me. I have a very good comprehension of time and the subject of time. So I will be reading this and I'll be letting you all know what it's about and what I think of it, but I'm pretty sure I've got time done. I've got a book on the Bay of Pigs, which was a secret CIA invasion of Cuba. Not so secret, apparently. I've read a few pages already and just to get an introduction, but uh, I will be letting you all know what I think about Bay of Pigs Declassified. And last on the agenda so far is The Great Philosophers. This should be extremely humorous and philosophical, obviously. 